What's up, guys? Um, basically, I was requested a something I haven't done yet, and I'm I'm pretty surprised I haven't done it, haven't thought of doing it yet. But basically, say you want to do a remix and you want to change the tempo of the vocals or the acapella or anything really it doesn't have to just be vocals it could be like drums or guitar or synth anything like that but you want to change the tempo to i mean say you have a song that's at uh, uh let's just say 120 bpm for example and obviously that's a little too slow for a dubstep songs and you so you want to bump it up to 140 or you want to bump it up to 170 or 180 for a drum and bass or something I'm going to show you how to do that basically. Um, what I have here is vocals of a friend's, and uh, I know what BPM they're in. Um, this is a song we did together called Run Away. It's on my SoundCloud if you want to check it out. But it's my friend, uh, he goes by Battery Night. Um, he makes uh, sort of pop, uh, pop music, I guess you can say. And it's pretty good. You should check him out. I will link him up below. I've used these vocals in another tutorial video. Um, pretty sure it was a reverse reverb. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. And just for the video's sake, I'm going to show you, um, I'll let you hear what it sounds like first. Let's just, hear, let's just see. Give me a second to breathe and dig my secrets from the ground. Okay, awesome. And uh, what you're going to want to do, just for a point of reference, I guess, is go ahead and get any, any drum, doesn't matter, I just have a hat, and put it at every four, just like I did right there, at the beginning of each little uh, color. I guess and um, go ahead and lay it out just so it's with the song so I'm gonna show you this and it's not gonna fit I know what temp it's at 140 BPM but I'm gonna show you at 130 so you can just see that it doesn't match and I'm gonna show you how to detect the tempo de detect the tempo of whatever you if you don't know the tempo of something say you want to remix it at the same tempo it's already at you can do that with just by detecting the tempo and you can see the tempo and yeah then I'll show you how to fit it to the tempo so let's just let's get started uh, I'm gonna play it without and doing anything so you can see that it's off where it is right now Give me a second to breathe and dig my secrets obviously that's off you can obviously tell so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this little um, way this little thing right here in the far left corner of the audio clip I'm gonna click detect tempo right down here under sample detect tempo and then if you're doing something that's drum and bass if you're doing something that's 100 BPM to 200 anything that fits in between 100 and 200 just stick with this one don't don't try to get brave and do anything with these over here well I mean you can like like I always say I mean like try stuff for yourself but I'm just saying the easiest way is just sticking with 100 200 that's what I always do I mean I've messed with other things but I mean I'm just gonna stick with 100 to 200 okay so click that and it takes a second to load mm. Okay, and it pops up, and like I said, it's 140 BPM. It tells us that. You just close that, bring it up to 140, and now you can just hear it. It will match with these now. Give me a second to breathe and dig my secrets from the ground. Keep screaming my name until I'm found. Okay, so now we see how to do that. That's simple enough, okay? Now, let's say I want to make a drum and bass song with the same acapella. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 172. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button right here, this the same button, and click Fit to Tempo this time. And I'm going to click 100 to 200 again, like I said before. Now we're just going to let it do its work. It's going to take a couple seconds, just like it did with detecting it. And uh, we'll see the final product in a moment. <laughs> now it's stretching it. Okay, now this is what it sounds like. Give me a second to breathe and dig my secrets from the ground. Keep screaming my name until I'm found. Okay, so as you see, that was a very simple, very simple tutorial. Now, sometimes when you stretch it, it's not going to go as easy as that. It what it does it, it it's looking at these beat like where it, where it goes up and like that's how it's detecting the tempo and um, fortunately for me I have see I have these over here and that basically gives the tempo away of what it is and it's able to detect it and it's able to fit it to other tempos some are not going to be that easy I mean most 
I'm not gonna lie, a lot of, a lot of them are this easy, but some aren't, and some will mess yours up, and you might not be able to remix it that way, the same way that you wanted to, but you always have this manual stretch feature right here. This will stretch it, but I'm warning you, this this will stretch it, yes. But if you do, if you before you fit, what I would do is I would fit it to tempo before you do anything. Try fitting it to the tempo, so that way you don't lose the. Uh, it doesn't change the pitch or anything. It it uh, doesn't you know stretch it like it. Okay, so say say you try to stretch it without fitting it to tempo first. What it's gonna do is stretch it and change the pitch. And well, let me just show you an example. I'm gonna add in a different one. I'm gonna add in. I've made a few copies of it, right here. And let me just wait. No, I don't want to stretch it yet. Let me just show you. I'm just gonna. Oh shit! Here we go. I'm gonna stretch it while it's playing. Uh, well, this just watch. Keep screaming my name until I'm found. Okay, that's our. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Okay, wait a second. Sorry about that. Make another copy. Here we go. Turn stretch off. Okay. As you can hear, that is that's that's normal sounding, right? So now I'm gonna stretch it. Now it's gonna be high pitch. <laughs> you, you get the picture. Okay. Now with this one, let's listen to it. It sound it hasn't lost any. The pitch hasn't changed because we fit it to tempo. Give me a second to breathe. It just sped up. That's all it did. Now if I do this. Let's listen to it. Wait, we'll let it stretch first. It's going to take a second. I kind of, I don't know what tempo this is going to be at. But sometimes you have to do this to fit it perfectly the way you want it. And uh, let's just, let's listen to it now. Give me a second to breathe and take my secrets from the ground. Keep screaming my name and And as you see, after you fit it to tempo already, it's already fit to the tempo. So, um, it's it hasn't lost any, like, it hasn't, the pitch hasn't changed. basically what I'm saying. It hasn't lost its quality. But, um. It's sort of it's being squeezed together. So now when I'm stretching it, it's just squeezing it together even more. So it's sort of uh, it doesn't it doesn't lose <laughs> the pitch doesn't change. Okay, just leave it at that. The pitch does not change. And um, yeah. So I guess that's it with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I really do and uh, feel free guys to like always message me I, I will help like uh, just a couple days ago somebody messaged me on SoundCloud um, because I needed a little help and that's that's the easier way to find I check my SoundCloud more than I check YouTube but um, so if you want to like contact me go ahead and uh, send me a message on SoundCloud or or tweet me even tweet me because uh, I check that too um, but yeah that, that that concludes this tutorial and uh, like I said, if, if you like this video, let me know. Uh, send me messages of other things you might want to learn. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe. Do what you do. I mean, I'm doing this for you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, like I said about the... Uh, well, I haven't said yet. I'm sorry. I'll tell you now. The um, I haven't done the uh, next dubstep walkthrough video yet. And the reason is, I had no idea my finals were going to be taking this long. And that's why I've done sort of small tutorials the past few times. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to be done with my finals either tomorrow or the next day, hopefully. Which I'll have two weeks to push out some more tutorials. So, before I start class again for the summer. <laughs> but, yeah. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you learned something. Goodbye. <laughs>